Welcome back to Brandon's Animal Expeditions. Today, I'm in San Diego at some of the tide pools that comes in. And tide pools are a very interesting area because the animals and plants that live there have to be able to withstand water coming in when the tide is high and then water rushing out and there not being much left when the tide goes out. So at a low tide, it forms what's called tide pools. And in tide pools, you can find different types of algae, mussels, crabs, squid sometimes, or octopus. Um, but today, we found a very special thing, and it's called a sea hare. So if you'll look right here in the water, Now, if you were to touch one of these, they're really slimy and they don't have much to them. They are invertebrates, and if you don't know, an invertebrate is an animal that does not have a backbone. So it's pretty flimsy and floppy. They have four tentacles, two above their eyes and two behind their eyes. And you can see it retracting right now. Now, they don't have eyes like you or I have eyes or a typical animal would but instead they have um, eye spots and they're essentially only able to see light versus dark with those eye spots. Sea hares get their coloration by the type of food that they eat. So this California sea hare, you can kind of tell it's like a reddish brownish. So it probably is that color because of the red or brown algae that it would eat, or even the kelp that it would eat as well. Sea hares are hermaphrodites, so that means they are both male and female, or possess both male and female body parts. California sea hares live a very short life, only one year long, passing on after reproduction. Sea hares get their name from the two big tentacles on top of their head region that resemble bunny ears. These tentacles assist them in finding food, and although they are soft on the outside, they have an internal shell that protects their organs. Something really cool about the sea hare is that when they feel threatened by a predator, they will actually ink purple substance, similar to like black ink from an octopus. On their back or dorsal region, they have two wing folds called parapodia that you can see here. Right now, I have opened them so you can see its gills, but normally, these flaps cover the gills, only allowing a small portion of water to filter in at a time. This prevents foreign objects from disturbing their gills. Now we don't want him to dry out too much, so I'll go ahead and return him back to his home. <laughs> 